Satyabama itself is a research intense institution. So apart from the academic departments, Satyabama started establishing various research centers focusing towards specialized areas of science and technology. And these centers are working towards meeting out the certain goals of uh, sustainable development goals of Agenda 2030. Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology is offering programs on both engineering, science, technology, management, law, nursing, pharmacy, dentistry, arts and science and management. And these uh, faculties of these uh, departments are into developing new products, which is of useful to the society. So we have a strong cooperation between our uh, nearby societies, nearby villages, because we have adopted schools and villages. So through that, uh, we could able to exp experiment the technologies which has developed from the institution. So recently we have got a Earth Science Technology Cell supported by Ministry of Earth Sciences, Government of India, which is work, uh, focusing on marine biotechnology studies. So where we are uh, working on uh, developing um, new compounds uh, for various applications of uh, marine biotechnology. And we are also working on, uh, we have recently uh, got a project on Center of Excellence by Energy Research by Ministry of uh, Human Resource Development, Government of India. So there we are, we are working on biofuels, we are working on uh, uh, solar cells, we are working on uh, fuel cells. So these uh, all are alternative energy sources where uh, the scientific team and our faculty members and students have involved uh, cutting edge research on this area. Uh, in Satyabama annual budget, 7% of our annual budget is earmarked by research. So we wanted to uh, take our institution to the next level. We are moving towards research intensive institution. Because you know, in India, national education policy has come up and this policy is insisting the institutions uh, to be in a research intensive institution or teaching institutions. And a lot of uh, new facilities we are procuring year by year and uh, a lot of research centers we are establishing and new research building. We have got, a, uh, now we have got a two research building. One is called International Research Center. Another, another one is called Colonel Dr. JPR Research Park. And now we have established a new building. Uh, it's for Center for Advanced Studies, where uh, all uh, kind of uh, engineering related uh, research equipments are installed. And we are promoting the research towards engineering also. So like that institution is giving due importance for improving uh, the R&D activities uh, at the institution. Most of the projects what we are executing in the institutions are funded by uh, government of India. The different ministries are there to support the research activities. And uh, most of our research projects are funded by these res research organizations. So every year we could able to get around uh, more than 20 crores worth of project from the funding agencies, from industry sales art. So we have undertaken projects for as a consultancy project. So industry projects, we do send our faculty to industries and uh, they are uh, involving in the industry projects and we do get reg uh, due, uh, due recognition that uh, uh, we are also the part of the project and thereby we increase the internship of our students. Students go and do the internships there and they are, all, they are also partly contribute in completing the project. So like that, uh, uh, through the from the government side as well as from the industry side, we are getting sufficient support because, because we have got a, that much number of expertise in different areas we have. And we, have, we also have the infrastructure. So industries are also coming forward in a utilizing infrastructure. Actively, we are participating in different um, uh, ways in uh, 150 institutions uh, for student exchange, faculty exchange, and semester abroad program, 
and uh, with the support of our partnering institutions we do uh, organize joint conferences joint seminars and we do joint research and it leads to the joint publications with the support of uh, european union um, this erasmus plus program also with the uh, turkish higher education council mevlana exchange program so this those are the funded programs where our students and faculty members are do going for the exchange program exclusively with the full support from european union and uh, turkish higher education council and because of this uh, our reputation is getting improved and uh, our quality of research is getting improved and uh, through this uh, mobility programs uh, we our students and faculty members are exposed to the various institutions exposed to various technologies and uh, thereby the uh, quality culture at the institution is improved.